that's the moment that you never forget where you you actually say I'm I'm homeless. I'm I'm here. I'm like I have nowhere to go. I lost my job over 11 years, my wife of 18 years, my four daughters, all in the span of a month. It just was kind of rough on me. It was kind of rough on me, yeah. I would stay everywhere. Vacant apartments, laundry rooms, in canyons and tents, anywhere I can stay to keep myself safe. But it would like sleep with one eye open because you never know, what's, you know what someone's gonna do to me. You know how you guys know men were, were prideful, right? And then when, when I would go to the hospital with my heart problems, they would ask me if I wanted any help, any of the resources that they had. And I would say no, because I could do it myself. Because like I said, I had a job and a family and a house and cars. I've done it before. And I would always say, no, I could do it myself. But obviously I couldn't. When I went to the hospital, someone came in and asked me if I wanted some help, and this time I said yes. It was a relief. I had a bed, I had a roof, and I, and I took those things that people take for granted I took those things and I embraced them. It's a great feeling to wake up every day in your own place. I wake up, I take my medication, I eat my breakfast, and I think I left out of here maybe three days, three times. There's just nowhere for me to go out there. Where am I going? I've been out there for over 10 years. There's nothing for me out there. Living here has helped me lead a healthier life, more stable life, a better life. I'm grateful for the path, I'm grateful for the link.